So how bubble sort works? Uh, the purpose of the sorting algorithm is to put something in order. Uh, say, let's say from A to Z in ascending order or from 1 to 100 and things like this. So we want to put the, a list of things. It could be a list of numbers, a list of usernames, a list of websites. It could be any sort of list. So for you to work the bubble sort algorithm, you just need a list of things. In programming, we also call a list an array. So uh, we can call it an array of things or an, a list of things, okay? It's basically the same thing. So to make it easy, we are just going to deal with a list of numbers. Uh, so on this list of numbers, for you just to understand that the algorithm will work for any list, but to make it easy and simple, we are just gonna uh, show you how a, the bubble sort algorithm will work for a list of numbers. So we got a list of numbers over here. So the first thing that you do is you're just going to compare the first two numbers. And if you think the second number is smaller, then you're going to swap because it's ascending order. We're going to sort uh, this uh, list. We're going to put them from smaller to bigger. So if the second number is smaller, then we are going to swap them. Now, how you going to write this in pseudocode? So for pseudocode, when you want to compare two items, you just say use the if statement. So using if, the first item is smaller than the second item. You swap them. Now we are going to, in any sorting algorithm, you will see that you have to swap things quite often. And we're going to explain how swapping works. So to understand how swapping works in the memory of a computer, compare this with just two glasses of drink. If you have two glasses of drink, how would you swap them? That's right. You need a third temporary glass. So that's how the temporary glass comes in. And then you will see that you're just going to swap the drink from the first cup into the temporary cup. So, and then you're going to move on this from the second cup into the first cup. And the drinks from the temporary cup goes into the next cup. So the pseudo code looks like temp. And quite often when I have explained this to my student, they will, first of all, they would have no clue what temp is and why there is temp. And this is, I hope this makes it quite clear why you need the temporary variable in here just to swap these two items. So that's it. And you, once you have swapped the first two items, basically you don't wanna just check the first two items. You wanna swap this for every items on the list Again, as I said, it could be a list of anything. So you just keep comparing them. And once you have compared them for the whole list, and if you repeat this to the end, you will say the biggest number goes on the top. So we have got at the end of the first round or pass one, we got the biggest number on the top. So at least the last number is at the final place. So one of the reasons it is called bubble sort is because every after every pass, the highest number bubbles up to the top. And on the next pass, the same thing will happen. So once we have finished checking and comparing all the numbers once, that's only one number goes on the top. Now we need to repeat the same process for the rest of the numbers on the list or for the rest of the items on the list. So you just do another for loop and then if you check all the numbers, then the whole list should be sorted. And this is, as I said, the least efficient method of sorting something, but easy to understand. Now we can also optimize this just to make it a little bit more efficient. So I'm just going to show you the code for uh, optimized code for bubble sort, which shows using the swap where simply the idea is if you don't swap any item uh, when you're comparing, that means your list is sorted. So we can use this just to increase the efficiency of the bubble sort. I'm happy to answer any question or uh, I'm also available on Carl's website. So please feel free to interact with our video or post any comment. I would be happy to answer.